Hi friends! Today is Saturday, May 6th, and two of the towns nearby where we live were having town-wide garage sales this weekend. So Scott and I got up fairly early this morning and went out for several hours uh, garage sailing. We went until we were both tired of garage sailing and we came home. But I picked up quite a few really nice things and I spent a grand total of $13 for everything that I picked up. So let me just show you what I got. Uh, the first thing I got were two of these cups. Um, I'm not sure what this is called, what this kind of, um, uh, it doesn't say on the bottom, but I really like this blue and white um, dishes. I have a very small set. Um, the, they don't have the same pattern, but it's the blue and white. And I'm not sure, I think I'm just going to use these in my home decor, probably for um, winter time. I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of winter, the blue and white. And I got two of them, two mugs, and they were 25 cents a piece. And at that same garage sale, I got a phone case for a dollar. Um, I can't show you my phone because that's what I video all my videos on, but I have an iPhone 4, um, I, I don't think it's a 4S, I don't know what it is, but it's an iPhone 4 and I needed a new case for it. So we got this brand new for a dollar. And then we went to another garage sale where um, they called it an estate sale, but there was a ton of just junk basically <laughs> that they were getting rid of and the woman she must have collected pigs because she had like pig figurines because she had at least three um, six foot tables full of pig stuff and they had a sign that said small pigs 25 cents large pigs uh, 50 cents and so I this needs to be cleaned up it's kind of dirty but I thought this was really cute. I got it for 25 cents and it's a toothpick holder. So I'll probably put this on my table or have it sitting out somewhere um, so we can have our toothpicks readily available. And on the back you can see um, the little swirl <coughs> pigtail. <laughs> then at another garage sale I got this set of little plastic ducks for 25 cents. Um, I'm keeping these for an art project that I want to be um, working on sometime in the future. After I get enough stuff collected for this, um, I'll probably do a video on it. But uh, I saw these and of course I had to get them because they were ducks. And then I picked up this piece of milk glass. I don't think it is um, true milk glass if there is such a thing because this is from Avon but I really love the hobnail pattern I'm every time I see milk glass and it catches my eye it's this hobnail pattern so I'm thinking that this is the pattern that I'm going to be settling with collecting and I got this for 25 cents and the other piece of milk glass there are two patterns that I really really like the hobnail pattern, like I just said, and then the pattern that has florals or grapevines on it. And so I picked this large um, jar up, and it was a dollar. So I got this for a dollar. So those are the only two pieces of milk glass that I found. And then I found this little basket. It was only 25 cents. I thought it was really, really cute. And I'm sure I'll find somewhere to stick this to put little paper clips or little pins or something in around the house. And I found this big green bowl. I'm trying to get away from using plastic. And so I actually bought this to actually use for mixing things or putting salads in or whatever. And I just am attracted to the green. I love, there's three types, types of glass that I really love. Pink depression glass, green glass, and milk glass. So those always catch my eye anywhere. If I'm at an antique store or garage sailing or wherever, those attract my attention. So um, this was only $2.50. It's perfectly 
good shape, no chips or anything, and I'm going to actually use this for cooking with. And then I got a couple of pieces of pink depression glass. Um, I got picked up this little, um, I don't know, it was like a compote dish or a little pudding dish, and then this little um, dessert tray, which I thought was very pretty. I got these at the same sale, and this one was marked $2, and this was marked $3, but they said, we'll accept any offer. So we offered them $3 for the pair, and so that's what we got them for. So we got both of these for $3. And I'm saving my last two favorite finds um, for last. Um, it's another piece of pink depression glass. It's this beautiful, quite large tray. It's like a medium size. I'm like this is my hand, so a little bigger than my hand. And I got it for $3. And I just love the intricate pattern around the edges. And it's just beautiful. And then the last thing I picked up was a cookbook. And I'm not typically one who collects cookbooks, but this one really attracted my attention. And it was from the Northern Indiana Historical Society, which if you don't know, I'm from Northern Indiana. And it's a heritage cookbook. And it's called Aspic and Old Lace. And so I was flipping through it, and it's kind of like a history book in recipes. It starts in the um, 1800s, like these are 1880s 80s rep recipes. Um, the first year is 1870s, and it's just got recipes that they would have used in those at those times. Um, and every recipe it has a little um, paragraph about the person who submitted the recipe, which I thought was very interesting. And then it's got these um, really neat tidbits about. Only a bird in a gilded age. So more historical stuff in there. And the one thing that I thought was really f funny was in the 1940s. Let me see if I can find it really quick. I it caught my eye because the page was like dog-eared, but it says um, you probably won't be able to see it, but right here it says proper conduct when dating a man in the service which that would have been, you know, World War II era. So I just thought this was really cool. It's kind of like a history book and a, a, a recipe book all in one. Um, all of the recipes that I've seen, I didn't, of course, have it sat and looked at the whole book, but they're all made with um, readily available ingredients, nothing weird or anything like that. And it goes up to the 1960s. So it goes from 18, what did I say? 1870? Uh, let me see. Yeah, 1870 to 1960. So almost a hundred years of recipes. And they're all apparently from northern Indiana. So I just thought that was really, really neat. I'm going to enjoy looking through it and probably using some of the recipes that I find in it. All right, folks, that's my yard sale haul for this, this time. It was the very first um, time we went yard sailing this year, and um, I hope to get to go quite often this summer. And so thanks a lot for watching this video, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye, friends.